video, I'd like to teach you how to practice English pronunciation. That's probably the number one question that my students ask me. They say, Lisa, I know how to pronounce the individual sounds. I know how to make the TH. I know how to make the R. I know how to move my mouth for the vowels. But when it's time to speak, I'm still making mistakes. I think you can probably understand and maybe you feel the same way. I'm going to show you in five steps how to fix this problem. You must follow all five steps. Don't jump from step one to step five. It's a process. If you follow these five steps, you will sound a lot better and you'll feel a lot more confident and your speech will definitely be a lot more natural. All right, step number one, practice the exercises with the book or with the videos. When you do the exercises, for example, this is my book, Mastering the American Accent, let's imagine you want to practice the sound ah, eh, which doesn't exist in many other languages. Let's say you want to fix that mistake. Maybe before you were saying apple and now you learned it's ah, eh, apple or bad. So first you're going to do the exercises. On page eight, for example, there are some exercises where you listen and you repeat. That's the first step. Bad example, angry man, bad habit. There are some expressions and some sentences. Do that over and over again for your mouth muscles to get stronger. So the first step is for your brain to remember what your mouth is doing and to be able to create that sound really well. Step two, get away from the book read something else. Remember, the book is not natural. It's artificial. There are examples just to help learners create the sounds, but they're not real life. So bring real life into your practice by reading. We are still reading. We're still not speaking naturally. We are reading a text. So for example, you can choose two paragraphs or one paragraph and look for that sound. So imagine we're practicing the ah sound. Let me show you how to practice. This paragraph is from a speech by Steve Jobs. I just randomly selected a paragraph of someone speaking. And what I did was I underlined every ah sound because that's the sound we're talking about today. We're talking about how to practice the ah sound, for example. But you can do the same thing with the th or with the r or with any sound. So first step was the book. Second step is another document outside the book. This is more natural. This is actually someone talking about something. I underlined every ah sound. And in this paragraph, I found seven examples of the ah sound. We have the word last, past, have, last again, and, and answer. It's very important that you underline or circle the sound that you're practicing. So first time, read it slowly. Second time, a little more quickly. And maybe you can read it 10 times over and over again, the same text. You're training yourself to say the sentences naturally with the ah sound or whatever other sound you're practicing. Let's go to the next step. Step three, speak with yourself. You're not yet ready to speak with other people because that requires uh, more effort. That's more challenging, but you're ready to start speaking to yourself in English out loud and paying attention to the way you're pronouncing things. Let me give you an example. For example, I'm in my house and I'm washing my dishes and I have a thought and I say, Oh, I forgot to call my friend back. And then I say, say it in English. I forgot to call my friend back. Oh, back has an ah sound. I note that. I pay attention to that. And I ask myself, did I say back or did I say bick or buck? And then I say it again. I need to call my friend back. And then maybe I have another thought. I'm driving my car and I say, oh, I'm so tired. I want to get home. There's so much traffic here. Oh, traffic has an ah sound. I'm going to say that again. There's so much traffic today. And I'm going to say traffic a few times. 
Nobody is listening to me. I'm talking to myself, but it's excellent, excellent practice. You don't need to have people around you that you can speak English with every day. You can do so much by yourself. When I studied French, I was living in Los Angeles and I was a university student. I had no one to speak French with. I also studied German. I used to make sentences just with myself. Whatever I thought, I said it in French. I was training my brain and that's one way that I became fluent and it's one way that I got a better accent. I was paying attention to the way I was saying things. So you don't necessarily need someone else to speak with in English. You can make very, very good progress just with step three. Step four, record yourself speaking English. For example, you can uh, just go on your phone, on your computer and just talk for maybe two or three minutes and record yourself saying various things, your thoughts or whatever you want. Just speak naturally. Then play it back and listen for the mistakes. Listen for the sound that you have been practicing in steps one, two and three. So imagine you're practicing the ah sound again. Listen to the ah and how it sounds. If you think you hear a mistake, put it on pause and repeat the sound again. Say the word and say the whole sentence correctly. Also, you can make a list of the words that don't sound good and you can practice those later. Keep doing that on a regular basis. Record your voice, listen back and start analyzing how you're saying those sounds that you're practicing. Step five. If you have done steps one, two, three, and four, step five is going to make you feel really good because in step five, you will be speaking with people and that's, that's the exciting part. That's why we're doing all this so that we can have confidence when we speak. In step five, you speak with people in English and you don't have to think about how you're speaking. You don't have to worry. What I recommend is that you just kind of relax. And then occasionally, for maybe one minute or 30 seconds, remind yourself, oh, I got to be careful. I want to practice that sound. Or I want to make sure I'm pronouncing the consonants clearly. Or I want to make sure I have the ah correct. Or I got to remember which, which part of the sentence I stress. Whatever. Just occasionally think about it. But like I said, don't think about it too much. Just enjoy speaking with people and that is considered practice also. And remember, in the middle of all those steps, one, two, three, four, five, all those steps, always try to listen to English. Watch English TV, English videos, American films, or just people talking. Just absorb, have your mind be absorbed with English then all of those steps will happen more quickly. All right, I believe if you do these five steps, you're gonna make great progress. Have fun and good luck.